What's happening guys? Zach man with another video update. Uh, we're going to talk about Tron here real quick. Go over the chart, do a little bit of analysis. Uh, so you can see the black line that I have right here is what my prediction was of where Tron is going to kind of go. Now, obviously this is just an illustration. It's not going to fall to the T. Um, but as you can see, uh, we do have a high right here, but it's a lower high from the previous high, which is right there. Uh, so we can kind of see it as well. It's kind of, you know, hit that. Now it's kind of going back down. Now, obviously... I'm hoping that this is all wrong and it's just going to go keep going up straight to four cents, eight cents, ten cents, twelve, fifteen hundred dollars, whatever, all the way up. That's um, that's what I want. But unfortunately, uh, we don't always get what we want. So, um, a little bit of a sell-off isn't ain't gonna hurt nothing because hey, buy on the dip, sell high, right? So if it, does, it like I said, I think it's still going to go down. Obviously, it's not going to fall to the, like to the T, like I said, but. Uh, we'll probably see a little another uh, lower low happening, followed by a lower high and then a lower low. And once it hits the support line somewhere, like I said, it could be this area, it could be this area, this area. Who knows? It could go sideways. I don't know. Um, but uh, until it hits that, then we'll see it kind of go back up once it gets out of that wedge right there. So we'll kind of zoom out, look at the four-hour chart here, see what that's looking like. Uh, again. Uh, you know, like I said, we got the lower high right here, and obviously we got followed by the lower low. Uh, if we can stay above the um, the 200-day moving average, that'd be pretty positive. If we kind of use that as a support, but I don't see that happening. Like I said, I can kind of see us going back down to the support line right here. So just kind of keep an eye on it uh, for the next few days. Obviously, I'll be posting videos uh, to kind of see where it's going to end up on. So uh, as far as Holo goes, Holo Chain, if you guys follow that at all, hot again. We're hitting some. Uh, we're about to hit a lower low here. Uh, coming up and then uh, obviously really haven't really hit a well it's hit a lower high right there so we're going to kind of see that go down to probably hit the there really isn't much data because obviously it's it was just released and you can kind of see how the data is really working out so far so this is like actually the first true kind of chart looking data we get with the candles but uh, so we'll kind of kind of keep on that bitcoin it's doing pretty good today I mean it's kind of again obviously we got the lower low lower low um, lower high so like I said this has got a long ways to go to get to about 3,000 before it actually hits the true bottom and we'll see a takeoff sometime in April hopefully so let's talk about Tron a little bit I'm going to kind of quickly talk about uh, about the BTD the public sale obviously I, I talked a little bit about it yesterday in my other videos uh, so again I did find it uh, there is uh, due to overwhelming demands Tron team uh, is actually agreed to do a small airdrop for people who tried to place orders but weren't successful in buying it um, yesterday since it like took about 18 minutes due to system uh, issues would have uh, taken 18 seconds otherwise the demand was just crazy so they sold out within like 15 minutes so yeah pretty crazy and it was like let's see we go back up here how many billions did it's or it was like 35 billion point 64 and they sold all of that out within a matter of 15 minutes pretty much so that is pretty crazy uh, so let's go back to hear a little article that I found uh, today, uh, why Tron cryptocurrencies will strike one dollar, and we're gonna do a little bit of analysis. Um, so basically, cryptocurrency, a blockchain technology, is the most important innovation since the invention of fire. That's right, fire, like what the cavemen discovered thousands of years ago. So this talks a little bit about that. Um, obviously, what is Tron? If you don't know what Tron is already, if you're new to it, uh, it's your member of a, a uh, social network like Twitter, Facebook. There's a high chance. You scrolled past a project called Tron. Tron is an ambitious project dedicated uh, to the establishment of a truly decentralized internet, its infrastructure. Um, so basically, Tron is the original vision of what Bitcoin was supposed to be, the, of uh, Satoshi's idea of what he wanted a decentralized internet, and Tron's pretty much doing what he envisioned, um, obviously what Bitcoin should have been. And I'll touch on that here in a little bit, but let's go back down. Obviously, Justin Sun is the marketing genius behind it, good marketer, all that stuff, does a lot of campaign. So I've been getting a lot of comments and looking at a lot of things, people talking about how Tron's a scam, pump and dump, all that crap. Um, but lately, there's been a lot of speculation around the project, with many calling it a scam. Tron is extremely an ambitious project with a 10-year roadmap, but how realistic are these goals? Let's take a deep dive and look into the fundamentals of it. So talk about this uh so it's got uh a decentralized edge uh basically I don't, i'm not gonna go through all that but let's just kind of yeah, here we go and kind of go through it so uh is there a reason for the project to exist in a decentralized manner to answer this we need to understand the problem tron is trying to solve website 
Tron website has an incredible design and is packed with useful information on a network uh, statistics, the community setting up a wallet, upcoming events, distribution of nods, developer resources, and more. Uh, the currency or uh, Tron displays incredible transparencies, uh, which is more than I can say for the other crypto projects. So basically, like I said, Tron, it's crazy to think about so here's my take on it i'll leave i'll leave a description uh, of the link here so you guys can go through it yourself um but here here's my theory on why people keep using like the, the market cap um which i talked about in some of my other videos about you know yeah market caps are what you go off of but and your traditional stock market stuff like that and it's a good little thing to kind of somewhat be accurate with everything um like recently i was talking to a guy I'm not talking to well uh in some of the comments or whatever you can look at if you see my videos but uh you know obviously i, I posted a video of my prediction of what tron and stuff and all those other cryptos could be using the market cap of uh, the actual market cap of whatever industry it is like the entertainment industry uh for example you know it's going to be worth 2.2 trillion dollars in the, uh, by 2020 the whole world whatever um and i said tron could do the same thing um, which Tron is its whole ecosystem. I mean, like I said, it's a whole different level. Like nobody knows exactly. Crypto is new, so nobody really knows. I don't know. Maybe it won't be. Maybe it will. Maybe it'll be bigger than everything. But I think it'll be bigger because if you look at Bitcoin, the supply on Bitcoin really isn't that much. So if Bitcoin wanted to decentralize the world and have everybody using Bitcoin with a market cap as low as that, is that really in as high as it's priced? It's really not feasible to do that you can't you can't make a centralized ecosystem with that low of a market cap you know what i mean because it's only i don't know, I, I guess i can type it in um actually i'll save that so it's really not coin market sorry i'm losing my train of thought trying to type that in but uh so the 17 million so if you want to create an ecosystem where everybody can, like Tron wants to do like everything, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, gaming, uh, movies, uh, it could probably do e-commerce like Amazon, eBay. He wants to do all that stuff on its network. And if people are buying Tron, do you think a market supply of $17 million is going to let, I mean, like I said, if everybody, like, I don't know how many millions and hundreds of millions of people use that stuff on a daily basis which is a lot I and mean, youtube alone uh you know it gets uh, one point some billion the e-commerce makes about 100 and some billion dollars all that's like all that stuff it's a lot and if you only have a circulating supply of 17 million but again i get the price you know it's going to be three thousand fifty thousand or whatever but what happens when it goes back down like i said with the market supply to me it just i don't know maybe i'm not making any sense i don't know it's just a thought that i had like i said that's why i get for market cap to have 66 billion even if it does a bunch of burns you know let's say it just had a billion or whatever that makes it more feasible for exchanging i guess if you know what i mean so i'm sorry I'm rambling on but uh that was just a, a, an idea that i had that i thought was that makes more sense you know to have a little bit more of a, a supply than less of a supply if you want to make a big ecosystem of a currency to be involved with all the stuff that tron wants to do anyways so uh that's what i have for today um, stay tuned. I uh, go ahead and uh, if you guys are uh, like the video so far, I want to do a little bit of a giveaway tomorrow. My next video, I'll explain what that is uh, tomorrow. But uh, if you go ahead and like, subscribe if you want to check it out. Um, if you already subscribed, awesome. Thank you. This will be pretty cool. So I want to do a little bit of a giveaway of some Tron tomorrow. Uh, I'll let you know how much all that stuff is uh, tomorrow in my next video. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.